Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be super short and sweet. I'm just gonna be trying out something new, the Maybelline Tattoo Brow. This is a peel off brow tint. I've been wanting to get my brow tinted for a while. And then I was in Walmart the other day and I saw this and it was on sale for $9.96. So I was like, you know what? Why not just try it at home? Apparently it can last up to three days, the longer you leave it on. And it looks really easy. Like you just brush it on and then peel it off, I guess. So it's like brow tinting for dummies. I don't have to do my eyebrows for three days. Sounds like a win-win situation to me. So I have this and I got this in the shade medium brown. They do also have a dark brown, but I think that might be a little bit too dark for my face. I do have makeup wipes on hand just in case the application gets a little bit messy. So this is what the tube looks like. Seems simple enough. I just, I wonder how many like applications you get from this. I guess it depends how much you would put on your eyebrows at a time. My eyebrows aren't that thick right now. I have been letting them grow out a little bit. So they haven't been threaded. But I'm starting on clean eyebrows, nothing on them. It's really thick. It's pretty goopy. I'm pretty sure you guys can't see the consistency, but it's pretty thick. I'm kind of scared. I don't want to put too much, but I guess we'll just do it. This medium brown kind of has a reddish tint to it, so I'm a little bit scared because my hair is pretty dark right now. Oh my god. I'm going to try and put more towards the ends, not so much at the front because I want it there to be a fade, kind of. I don't want to have like boxy brows, you know? Kind of has a weird smell though. I mean, I guess it would smell like kind of like paint or like glue. It just kind of smells like lash glue. Oh yeah, that's it. That's a really cute look. with the application so I'm just going to use a makeup wipe to clean up around the edges so we don't look too crazy. When I was reading reviews of this product I saw someone ask if they could use it on their eyelashes like for an eyelash tint and I was just like how would that work if you have to peel it off are you peeling off your eyelashes or what? like button if you think I still look cute. This is who we are now. These are our eyebrows. No, I'm kidding. So I'm gonna wait a couple hours for this to dry. Um, apparently if you leave it on overnight it can last up to three days so I might try that another day. I will update you guys but for now I'm gonna leave it on for a few hours. It is now 1 10 p.m. so I'm gonna leave this on for a couple hours maybe come back around five or six so it's had a chance to like dry properly. And then I will show you guys how I peel it off and hopefully we look good after. So now we wait, I guess. Okay guys, I'm back with my fully dry eyebrows. The time is now 5.10, so it's been four hours. Yeah, four hours since I put this on and my eyebrow did get itchy. So I started scratching it and this one kind of started peeling up. So it kind of ruins a little bit of the surprise but this one has fully stayed on and I have to say when it's dry it just feels like 
feels like a weird gel on your eyebrow. Well, like it's dry, so you can feel the hairs. I'm hoping it doesn't rip out any of my eyebrow hairs because uh, I worked hard for these, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I got them for my birthday, but still, I worked hard for them. So hopefully it doesn't rip out my eyebrow hairs. All right, it's time to peel these babies off and hopefully they don't take any of my eyebrow hairs with them. Well, it's kind of lightly pulling on my eyebrow hairs, but it's not, it's nothing serious. Like it doesn't hurt. You just know that, you just notice it, I guess. Okay, if you have really long hairs at the end, it might hurt a little bit, unless I'm just peeling it wrong. Oh my god. It looks kind of cool, like, I don't know if you guys can see that. Probably not, but it looks like it's literally just my hair. It's like, <laughs> it looks so long. Well, not the actual hairs, but like the imprint of them. And there's still a small piece under here. Ow. Oh, hello. And this is the color. Hmm. It's a little bit more. It doesn't look as red as it did in the package. Like it's more, I wanna say neutral, I guess. It's kind of a weird color. So that's interesting. I think when I try this again, I might go get the dark brown instead of the medium brown. But I'd say for like coverage and stuff, this is pretty good. For leaving this on for four hours, this is pretty good and it's like, not smudging at all like i'm rubbing my eyebrow you can see that and it's not coming off that's pretty good i will update you guys on how this looks throughout a few days i left this on for four hours so this should last at least until tomorrow i'm gonna peel off this other one in the meantime so we can see if it looks just as good So there's my eyebrow, y'all. That's what it looks like. It's pretty weird. This one is a little bit thicker, especially on the top, but they are not shaped the same. My eyebrows aren't shaped the same way anyway. Like my eyebrow lady kind of threaded this one differently. So the tail is a little bit thinner, but overall I'd say I'm pretty happy with this. Like it doesn't look extremely weird, which I thought it would. I was. A little bit scared overall i have to say for ten dollars pretty good i don't know how many uses you'll get from the tube i guess if you don't put a lot you'll get more uses i don't think i use too much and this looks pretty decent like microblading where <laughs> microblading who we don't know her says that's like three hundred dollars this is ten dollars okay and we look pretty good can't even lie overall i'm happy with it i'm not mad at it I don't really have bad things to say. Also, let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see more videos of me trying things I've never tried before. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, guys, so I wanted to show you guys how the tattoo brow fades over time. So I'm standing in natural lighting right now so you guys can see my brows in natural lighting. Um, today is Friday. I did the brow tint on Wednesday afternoon around one o'clock is when I first put it on and I left it on for about four hours. Yesterday they didn't really fade much. They were still a little bit darker for my liking. I should have probably um, put less in the beginning because then they were looking a little bit boxy at first, but this morning I cleansed my face with my clean and clear sensitive skin cleanser and then uh, after I washed my face then the brows started to fade a bit more but they're still pretty dark like they're not completely faded um, so overall I have to say I think I like this product um, I think I would just use a little bit less next time another thing I haven't worn makeup since I put it on um, like face makeup or anything I have put like concealer under my eyes and like mascara, but that's it. I don't know if that could be um, affecting how it fades. Like I guess if you wear makeup and then you have to take it off with a makeup wipe or something, then it would fade more, but mine have not faded too bad. 
These could probably still go another day, which would be three days. However, um, they're not really to my liking anymore. If I were to do my makeup, I would probably still fill these in. For 10 bucks, I will say this is a great investment if you don't want to have to do your brows for like a week like me.